Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Technical Recap here. In this episode, I'm going to be covering Enphase and Solar Edge. So first up, we have Solar Edge and, you know, it seems like the uh, the bottom keeps on, um, you know, dipping. The dip keeps on deeping, uh, dipping, um, if I can say that correctly. Um, so uh, first up, we have that weekly chart for Enphase here and it seems like um, this week was bad as well. So, I, you know, I call it the bottom uh, sort of um, the last two weeks. And it did continue to drop, but as you can see, the volume and the uh, uh, the way it drops um, is a little bit significantly um, uh, smaller than in the past when the dip just started, right? So we are seeing a slowdown in that downward momentum here. That does not mean it's going to stop, um, but there are a few, you know, I'm, I'm going to go through a few things here. Um, so first up, okay, before we continue here, um, let's look at the S&P 500, which is going to be very important here. And, you know, it looks like that downtrend is reversing here. But uh, as you notice, um, you know, Enphase and Solar Edge are not doing very well. And, uh, you know, it's not following the broader market here. So it seems like, um, you know, many, uh, I would say, investors are maybe not as impressed with Enphase and Solar Edge, or maybe they don't think they can continue to grow from here. Um, I'm not sure. But... Um, it seems to have, uh, you know, a very uh, bad sentiment right now on Wall Street. Um, I think it's pretty different among the retail crowd. Uh, but, you know, if this trend continues and Jerome Powell, remember, he didn't say anything um, good, but he didn't necessarily say anything bad. But um, that just means the market is probably going to follow the momentum it has um, gained. And that would be a, a downwards momentum, unfortunately, because, you know, the RSI um, right now is pretty high and then MACD looks like it's about to curl down. So if that happens, it's very likely that Enphase and Solar Edge might continue to bleed out here. But, you know, there are a few signs that uh, it's hit another support. Um, once again, um, this is pretty uh, speculative. We're actually not sure what Wall Street thinks of this stock just yet. Um, there doesn't seem to be a lot of media covering it, so maybe you know the investors are just not happy with how the stock has performed here. Uh, a lot of people are just calling this um, shit stock, but I don't think so. Uh, but you know, obviously they can have their own opinions, and um, you know that's all good. Uh, so this is N phases um, RSI and MACD here. They both look like they are about to curl up. But once we zoom in here, it doesn't look like there is any buy volume. So that is why um, Enphase keeps continuing to bleed out here because there really is no buy volume in this stock. And uh, uh, to be honest, if I had more capital, I would probably buy all the way down. But I am saving that capital for other stocks. Um, I think my Enphase and Solar Edge positions are pretty built up right now. And I'm just going to you know, buy other stocks instead of this. But that does not mean this is a bad sign for the stock. Um, obviously, I'm just one person here, and uh, I'm not sure if people watch this actually are in the stock. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys are. Um, I would say wait until the end of the year before we do anything stupid. Once again, I'm going to pull up that chart I pulled up in uh, the last technical recap, and this is this chart here. And if this tracks, and it seems to track quite a bit, um, we are probably going to see an uptrend by the end of um, September. Uh, you know, all the way to um, the end of the year, there should be an uptrend there. Now, um, this is obviously trying to predict the future and that never really ends well, but, um, you know, that's just the chart I tend to um, agree with and it seems like the technicals agree with it as well. So that's why um, I personally am just holding it until the end of the year before seeing what happens with these stocks. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't look good right now. There are no buyers and it seems to keep bleeding out here. So we are keep we keep seeing these um, huge uh, drops in price. So that just means that institutions are selling off the stock. And, you know, that would typically be a bad sign. But uh, once again, whenever you see uh, a stock that's so beaten up right now, it's usually not a bad time to get in. I mean, um, I got in at around 160, right? So... Um, I lost about uh, 20%, but I didn't you know, uh, lose out on uh, 50% since the top, right? So it's all about perspective. If you zoom out long enough, it, it doesn't necessarily look that bad. 
and um, if Enphase, you know, can continue its trend, and you know, the the trend with Enphase is that there tends to be quite a lot of large swings in the price. If it does that, then you know, we'll be fine. And uh, uh, let's not try to panic here, right? Um, that's not what we are about here. We don't freak out. Uh, so next up, we have Solar Edge here, and as you can see, this is the weekly chart for Solar Edge, and you know, right now the RSI is around that oversold. It's actually 29.25, so it's below that um, 30 threshold that would signal an oversold. And, you know, um, the, the MACD is uh, looking like it's at its peak here. Uh, obviously, I, I, I would not, um, you know, I would not rule out it continue to go um, further down because if the market is going to go down, Solar Edge is going to go down as well, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be more of a bleed out than a, a, a large institutional sales, but it doesn't matter to me anyways because I am still going to hold the stock. Uh, so right now it's hitting that um, support level here um, that we got since uh, three years ago at June 20th. And you know the way I picked this out is because there was a uh, resistance here and there was a uh, support level here. So that just made sense to put a support level there um, for me anyways. And it's hitting that right now. And the MACD is peaking and the RSI is bottoming. So, you know, I, I think while it's not possible that, well, it's not impossible that it can continue to drop here. I think it's more likely that this would sort of be a consolidation phase rather than a, um, a, a severe dip here. So, you know, if it trades between these two support levels for the next um, month, then that would be a good sign for Solar Edge. And um, I, I hate to make predictions, but that just looks like what Solar Edge is going to do to me. Um, and, you know, once again, if you look at the trend of Solar Edge, there seems to be large swings in the price. Um, so we see a large swing down. It is possible we can see a large swing back up if the market recovers. Um, but, you know, uh, it's impossible to, for me to say if or when it's going to recover, right? So that's just what the technicals are telling me. And I, I'm not trying to make predictions here. Um, so next up, we have the four hour chart for Solar Edge. And uh, the RSI looks like it just curled up towards that bullish side. But once again, there is no buy volume in the stock. So um, that's why we, are, we keep seeing that bleeding out trend. And uh, yeah, MACD says the same thing. So um, it's very likely coming Monday, if the market doesn't recover, then we are probably going to go towards that downside. So that's what we, um, wh well, that's what I expect. Um, I'm not really schizophrenic. Um, I just talk to myself, but, uh, so, um, we have the one hour chart here, uh, RSI, um, you know, it doesn't look like it's curling down, but, um, the stock price tells a different story. It's sort of. Um, hitting a resistance here and the MACD is about to curl down. So if nothing changes tomorrow's pre-market, it's likely uh, Solar Edge is probably going to head back down. And uh, we'll see if uh, 56, 72 is a support for Solar Edge uh, or will it continue to bleed out here. So with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this um, technical recap for end phase and Solar Edge. Um, so, you know, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to hold these stocks uh, for the end of the year, if I had capital, I would probably DCA into it. But um, I, I see other opportunities in the market and uh, I am trying to chase that um, instead of these stocks. So I think my positions for these stocks are pretty built up here. Obviously, I didn't time the bottom. I'm not going to do that every time. And uh, I'm fine with that. Um, this is not what this channel about is about. We're not trying to time the bottoms. And um, once again, I'm not trying to make predictions here. I'm just trying to give possibilities and what I'm seeing in the market and um, looking at what the technicals tell me because I do think that is pretty important. And so, you know, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching here. Um, I know I, I tend to uh, ramble off a little bit um, during end phase and solar edge, but uh, I just think those are important factors to look at as well. So uh, have a nice one out there. Um, stay safe out um, and like and subscribe.